Making the jump to home ownership from renting can be daunting. There's this idea that renting is throwing away money versus making mortgage payments that will help you build long-term wealth. Well, I guess you can say that's technically true. There's really no right or wrong answer when it comes to renting versus buying. The right decision depends on you, your lifestyle, your finances, and several other factors. In this video, we'll be breaking down the pros and the cons of renting versus buying so that you can make an informed decision on what's best for you. So let's get into it. So let's start off with renting and we're gonna start with the pros. A pro to renting is free maintenance and access to amenities. When you choose to rent, you're typically not paying for ongoing maintenance. That's something your landlord or your property manager will take care of. Sure, a home loan may appear cheaper, but guess what happens when your toilet breaks? You can't call your maintenance guy or woman for a free fix. With renting, you may also have access to amenities, such as a nice pool, a fitness facility, or a really nice office area. The next pro with renting is flexibility. You have the ability to move when you want, where you want, how you want. Of course, as long as you're moving within your lease terms. And even if it's not, most leases allow you to get out of your lease with a fee. Unlike having a house, you don't necessarily have that flexibility to sell your house as quickly as you want to. And renting your house out can be a hassle and an additional cost for the homeowners. The last pro to renting is there's no down payment. There's oftentimes deposits or pet fees, whichever fees are applicable. This is a big pro if you're still in the process of saving for a down payment on a home. Next, let's get into the cons. Con that I'm never too happy with is that your landlord can choose to increase your rent each year, or they can even decide to sell your property or your apartment to a company. It's typical to see a rent increase each year once you resign your lease. Although it can be negotiated, there's still a potential for your rent to increase each year. The next con with renting is stability. There's a lot less stability but a lot more rules. Because you're renting and you do not own the property, some may feel less stability with a year-long lease rather than settling in a home for the long term. And with renting, there's typically more rules to abide by than when you own your own home, such as quiet hours, what you can and cannot have on your balcony, even down to the specific breed or type of dog that you can have. Our last con with renting is that there's no tax benefits. This one is pretty self-explanatory but with owning a home, comes with certain tax benefits, but with renting, there are no tax incentives at the end of the year. Let's get to the pros and cons of buying a home. Buying a home can provide you with stability and a sense of community, unlike living in an apartment. Now, this is not to say that some apartments don't provide the community, but typically with buying a home, you have long-term stability in a long-term community. Also, with owning a home, you'll be more likely to get to know who your neighbors are and who lives in your neighborhood. So our next pro is that buying a home gives you the ability to build wealth depending on the market and when you sell your home. There's a lot that goes into this, considering the price you bought the home for, how much you spent on major renovations, the market you decide to sell in, and the list goes on. However, owning your own home gives you the potential to build wealth and make money once you go to sell your home. Unlike renting, there's no monetary return. The final pro about home owning is that there's less rules. This gives you the ability to remodel, my favorite, and make changes to your property. Owning a property such as a single family home, there's no HOA and it has little rules when it comes to what you can do to your property. But it still has to be legal. Lastly, this is the downside or the cons to buying a home. Maintenance is on your dime. You're responsible for all repairs, all replacements. So if that sink is leaking, the toilet is broke, that is all your responsibility. Most homeowners can typically expect to spend between one and 3% of the total value of their home on repairs and routine maintenance. The next con is buying a home requires a large chunk of change up front. And this is to pay for down payments and closing costs and any other fees associated with buying a home. Depending on what kind of loan you secure and whether you're buying domestic or international, you can need a down payment of between three and 20% of the total home price. Closing costs can also range between 1% and 3% of the total home buying price. Then there can be out-of-pocket expenses such as inspections. Final con on home buying is that it is extremely harder to pick up and move. Depending on your personality, your job, your lifestyle, this could be a pro or a con. But if you needed to or wanted to relocate, selling a home comes with expenses and is more complex than just leaving a rental. I hope that this was able to help you in making an informed decision on whether 
whether you should rent or buy. At the end of the day, the decision is yours. You know yourself better than anyone else. So remember to always make a pros and cons list that is specific to you and that will help you in your decision.